It's Friday, of course. You know what that means. We got new content. That will be the show, 23 Diamond Dynasty. And today we have the long-awaited Extreme program. I really enjoy this every year. I mean, I'm a pretty good player, so it's not as frustrating as some other people for me. But I really like the challenge that they bring to us. Um, and we also have some tops now and, and a pretty cool Diamond duo today. So let's get into it. So looking at the calendar, today is the 28th of July. We got the Extreme Program, Tops Now, Double XP and Duos. On Tuesday is the trade deadline in the MLB in real life. So what they're going to do is they're going to update the rosters with the new trades. There are no attribute upgrades or downgrades, just team by team. So for example, David Robertson got traded from the Mets to the Marlins last night. He will be on the Marlins on Tuesday night in that roster update. That's what that is. Um, and then they said that there isn't going to be much content next week because of the extreme program. They want that to sort of ride out the week. I'm assuming we'll get a diamond duos on the Friday. Uh, I hope we do because then it would be a pretty boring week of literally nothing. Like we wouldn't get diamond duos on Tuesday. And then on Friday, I'm assuming we would get diamond duos on Friday. But who knows? The following Wednesday, August 9th, we get the july month of the awards program expect a predictions video very soon you guys absolutely loved the june predictions so shout out to you guys um, i'm gonna be doing it again of course and then i'm gonna do it for august and then i'm gonna do it for september so yeah um, and we're gonna get the lightning player of july in the final set of july tops now players and then two weeks from today we are getting a new ranked seasons program we're getting a milestone other program which they revealed on twitter is a retired jersey number program and the final reward is 99 fernando valenzuela who is conveniently getting his number retired on the day that comes out and then we're getting another roster update really quickly they did add a diamond duos has nothing to do with the new extreme but we got justin Marneau as one of them maxed out power and clutch really good hitter man 114 107 contact Clutch helps out. His defense is not good. It's a home run derby card, but still a very good hitter. And then we have a no hitter, Joe Musgrove. 110 stamina, 120 hits per nine, 116 pitch and clutch. Great. 103 case per nine is great. The control, good. Break, great. The pitch mix is amazing. Slider, four seam cutter, sinker, changeup. This is a very good card. We also got a new event, and I will go over how this affects the extreme program, but it is the extreme event. For now, I'm just going to go over the rewards. That was from the last event. For now, I'm just going to go over the rewards. Um, so at five wins, we have a prime Bruce Suter, reliever, splitter, four seam slider. I mean, cool. 115 or 111 hits per nine, 125 strikeouts per nine is great. Uh, the pitch and clutch 102, not horrible. The control and break are both good, but the pitch mix is amazing and the velo sucks. We're getting a rewind pack at 10 wins, and then we're getting a Tom Glavin Cy Young at 20 wins. Sinker, circle change, sweeping curve, slider, four seam, control and break are both elite. But I mean, 100 hits per nine is okay, and the control or and the clutch at 93 is meh. And then the 12 win streak reward is a 99 Javi Baez. Let me just show you guys that real quick. Let me go to the Cubs, and then go to set three. Javi Baez, 99 overall, 112, 122 contact, 108, 113 power, 125 clutch. Diamond defense, good speed, can play the entire infield and left field. Good cards. Moving to tops now, we got some new July tops now cards. You'll be getting another one of these flashbacks as well as the other captain. I'm just going to go through these quickly because nobody is really using these in ranked. We got Dominic Canzone. That's definitely not how you say it. Solid contact right and clutch. We have Michael Stefanik, high contact. Um, and then the vision's at 104, 113 clutch. Pretty solid defense. Ryan Jeffers, we're getting a catcher card, pretty good defensively. Andy Rodriguez, another catcher card, switch hitter, has contact in the 90s, can play first and second as a catcher. Miles Mastrubioni, uh, probably butcher that, but he has solid contact and clutch. Billy McKinney, Yankees fan, love to see that. Good stats versus righties, okay, and really good defense. Francisco Alvarez, this is a pretty solid catcher card, and he has good defense. We got Josh Naylor, 112, 10, or 100 versus righties with 109 clutch we have jesus luzardo four seam slider circle change sinker cutter is that his new pitch mix why don't they put that on his live series anyway nick pavetta reliever with 77 stamina is pretty good has good per nines too xander bogart's high contact low power pretty solid defense for a xander bogart's card and then we got a joey Votto card ogs no ogs will know what i'm talking about when i when i say that Votto cards always slap 
Now to the extreme program, which is everybody's favorite. Um, let me quickly go through the rewards first and then talk about how the program works. So at 15 points, we have this 99 Keytel Marte, switch hitter, second, short, left, center, and right, 116, 110, or 120 contact, 101, 103 power, 100 vision, 88 discipline, 125 clutch, has defense in gold across everything, and he has pretty solid speed. Can play so many spots. When I saw that they were giving us this card, I was a little skeptical just because we already got a 99 in season one for the WBC card. And if it was a card like that in the extreme program, I would have been very unhappy. But this card is so much better than that WBC card. So I am more than happy to have this Keytel Marte card. Uh, and then at 35 points, we have a Billy the Kid, Billy Wagner, closing pitcher, lefty, four seam slider, curveball changeup, maxed out hits per nine, case per nine, and clutch. Has outlier on the four seam. I mean, this card is literally missing nothing. Maybe a little better control on the curve and change, but that's literally the only flaw on this card. Maybe like a better pitch mix with like a sinker or a cutter. Really good card. Pack four or at 40, you're getting a diamond duo choice pack. Not a guaranteed one of those, but very high odds. Mike Piazza at 55 points, catcher. I mean, this is up there with Adley. Adley has the better defense, of course, but hitting wise, I would give it to Piazza. 102, 121, 125, 108, 101, 106, 113. That's amazing. At 75 points, we have a perfect game. Matt Kane, four seam slider, curveball, circle change, sinker, 110 stamina, maxed out hits per nine and clutch, has maxed out home runs per nine, even though that's literally a simulation stat. Uh, I hate when people complain about that. It's like it doesn't affect the game. <laughs> uh, he has great control and great break. I mean, good pitch mix. That card's a beast. At 95 points, we're getting that pack again where you're guaranteed one rare player. It is non sellable though, but that's cool to see to get another one of those. And then the last card is a core 99 Ken Griffey Jr. This is so worth it, guys. I know it's difficult and it's going to take forever, but it's so worth it getting a core card like this for the rest of the year. Ken Griffey Jr., 110, 105 contact, 125 for both powers and clutch. So the clutch is going to help him with that lower contact. Still, very, still good enough. Um, and then the discipline being at 84 is a little lower, but who cares? Literally, who cares? Um, and then the defense is in the diamonds. You're going to have to parallel him to, to probably red parallel to have him diamond in secondaries. But I'm probably just going to put him in center field. I already have three right fielders in my outfield. And he has great speed as well. So those are the rewards. Now let's go over the, the daunting tasks to get these rewards. Starting off with moments. That's where this originated in MLB 19. It was just moments. Then they added Conquest and Showdown in 20. Um, and then in 21, it was they didn't have one. And then in 22, they added the missions. And then this year, they added the event. So let's start with moments. In total, if you do every single moment, you're going to be getting 45 points. So that's almost halfway. You'll be getting Keitel Marte and Billy Wagner. Um, if we go through the moments, they're very... Some of them are actually pretty easy, but a lot of them are a challenge. So Mike Piazza. You have one game on all-star to tally two extra base hits and one homer. That's easy, okay? That's pretty easy. And when I say that's easy, I'm saying in comparison to previous extreme programs and th this extreme program. Obviously, if you're a casual player, that's not going to be easy. I'm just saying it in terms of the program. So yeah, we have Mike Piazza. Okay, just hit a home run. Legend, difficult, but not long, like not going to take forever. Okay, so with Billy Wagner, you have to get seven saves without giving up a run on Hall of Fame. Okay, that's pretty difficult. You have to throw a perfect game with Matt Kane, but that is on veteran. It's on veteran. So that helps a lot. Um, okay, Keita Marte, two homers in one game on Hall of Fame. Not horrible, but still pretty challenging. Can't count out the M's. Yeah, okay, so you have your own... Di this is on All-Star. It's All-Star. It's not horrible. It's a big comeback to come back from, but that's not horrible. Adley Rutschman on All-Star, 25 total bases in four games. That's pretty challenging, but if you average it out, it's six total bases, 6.25 to be exact, per game. Not impossible. Uh, piling on early with your Diamond Dynasty squad, hit three homers in a row. Hall of Fame is a little difficult, but if you have really good players, that should make it easier. Um, four extra base hits in one game okay that's more challenging on all-star uh morale nine homers in 12 games yeah okay all-star shohei one game tally four hits a homer and a triple 
Um, Juan Soto can on base four times on legend. That, okay. And then all-star, Ellie De La Cruz, you have to, okay, so pretty much a cycle, but it's on all-star. So these are difficult, but they're not as difficult as you think. I'm going to be giving you guys tips videos tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. The missions, I mean, this is just stuff that you can do. 25k PXP in any mode. I mean, don't rely on this. This is going to take you forever if you do. Hits with Marte, 50 hits with Kitian Marte. A long grind, but not horrible. 10 saves. Again, I mean, if you just knock that out on the Conquest. Uh, Piazza, 15 homers, and then 50 innings with Matt Cain. 5,000 PXP with all these guys. 10,000 PXP with all these guys. Mini seasons. There's a mini season. So you can do mini seasons. I'm going to come back to this just because I have to go to it. Optional collection. You can collect the event rewards for some points. Not required, but you can do that. That's why it was like the extreme event. Showdown. Oh my goodness. This, this is, this is, in my opinion, is the most difficult thing in this program is the showdown. Um, but yeah, I will give you guys tips for everything tomorrow in my tips video. And then a conquest map here. Yeah, you're going to have to play 30 games. Um, some of them are turn-based, so you have to do it before time runs out or else you have to restart. Um, so this is going to be difficult, uh, but I'm going to help you guys out tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that video. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys are new here, follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. But most importantly, make sure you subscribe right here on YouTube. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.